Welcome back everybody. I thought I would make a quick little video on a string of spades care. So I'm sure the care is very similar to string of hearts. However, I haven't had much luck with string of hearts, but string of spades is basically the same plant. Um, you'll see in my video. Um, my string of spades are thriving. So I just want to show you what exactly I'm doing. Um, I must be doing something right, so I'm just going to share my tips with you. Um, hope you enjoy my ungodly amount of creamer. So my string of spades really has a mind of its own. I mean, it just has not stopped growing. It has not stopped blooming. I'll take a step back so you guys can just see... I know the lighting's horrible, but how large it is. Um, so I have two pots. This one I keep hanging. Here we go. Oh, this lighting, I'm so sorry. This one I have hanging, and then this one sits right next to it. Um, I did, I, I did what we all do, was walking around my house and noticed Oh man, um, this really needs to be watered. And then, I don't know about you guys, but I just go into panic mode. Like, I need to water them right now, right now, right now. So I wanted to show you how I water my string of spades. And um, just give you some of my care tips. Because these babies have been growing, so I'm doing something right. Uh, so I feel a little comfortable sharing that with you. I'm sure so many of you already do this. Uh, when I'm trying to see if a plant needs to be watered, I simply, I'm not going to do it right now since it's sitting, but I will lift it up and see how light it feels. If it feels super light, you know it's time to water. If it still feels kind of heavy, leave it alone, okay? You can also tell a lot by the leaves. Now, these leaves are usually pretty succulent, um, but right now they're feeling... Uh, almost paper thin, <laughs> which you don't you won't, you don't want to let them dry out that much. Um, these ones are a little bit worse off, and you can see the wrinkling. You see that? You don't want that, so it's time to water. So I'm going to be watering them out here in the kitchen. They look so different, don't they? And the reason for that is this one is probably getting much more sun than this one because this is the one that hangs in the window, directly in the window. Um, so it's got more of a purplish pink color to it. You'll also notice that I have trays underneath them. This is important for string of hearts, string of spades, string of plants. I like to bottom water them, but I'm not going to lie, I do like to sprinkle a little bit on top too. Um, oh, and I just wanted to show you guys this one strand. This is why I grabbed this pot a while back. It had a strand of these very beautiful hearts, um, and it's so long now. I mean, hello. All right, so we're going to water these babies. And I like to add a little bit of this when I water my plants. So we're going to fill her up. And I'm just going to pour it into the tray. And you'll see it'll quickly uh, see how it's like already drinking it up. I'm just gonna fill it a little more. And you're gonna wanna do this somewhere, obviously, that you don't mind water possibly getting everywhere. Put a towel down, do it in your kitchen. Uh, bathtub is another good spot. But for these larger plants, it's sometimes hard to, um, to do it without moving them from their, their spot, wherever you're hanging them. So I'm going to let these soak for probably 30 minutes, see what they can soak up. 
Um, and then after that, I'm not going to just toss the water. I like to use the water, the excess water, um, to just go around the house and water the rest of my plants. Um, Cause it's got the super thrive in it. So I don't want to waste those nutrients. Now you might also notice, hey, like the top looks bare here, but not here. Um, this plant again, is pulled further back from the window and um, a lot of the strands are wrapped around the top. So it doesn't look uh, as bald. <laughs> um, but if I did that with this one, this one would look fine too. Oh, look what I did while I was waiting for it to suck up the water because I don't have like appropriate pins to be holding down some of the vines, but I noticed it is looking a little bald and I want to kind of fill it out a little bit. Um, yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. Anyone else struggle? Uh, so the water level is going down, which is great. It's drinking it up. So that's, it's drinking it up. Great to see. It really needed it. But you can definitely see the difference in colors. The one that's been getting the most sun has also been the one that blooms the most as well. Um, this one, it might have put out a couple blooms, but not, not like this. This one's back to back blooms all the time. You can see that all the blooms. And that about wraps up this video. I hope you found my tips helpful. If you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and hit that button and I will see you next time. Bye guys.